Good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for the, the kind introduction. Uh, I will present one of the initiatives of UAG, which is the talent pool. So uh, these are my disclosures. I have nothing to disclose. So what is the talent pool? Basically, the talent pool is a group of emerging digestive healthcare specialists, basic scientists, researchers, and people from underrepresented groups that might have the possibility to actively participate in UAG projects, always based on their interests, qualifications, and skills. And the first question that might come to your mind is when applying to the talent pool is, am I talented enough to apply to this pool? And my answer is, everybody got talent. So we are welcoming everyone to apply to the talent pool. So, and why should you apply? First of all, you will be involved in a scientific program of UAG Week. You can share your knowledge and experience with your junior colleagues. You can donate your time for a good cause and support the GI community. Importantly, you will become an active part of UAG and then you will be engaged in the community and you will be enabled to expand your network, to meet new people and to establish new collaborations. Who can apply? So the basic criteria is all of the people is welcome to apply. So all digestive health specialists, researchers, basic scientists are welcome to apply. You should be fluent in English because every communication is done in English. You have to provide a written recommendation that refers to a specific task you would like to perform within UAG. Please bear in mind that general recommendations will not be accepted. You will be rejected in the time of your application and we will give you the opportunity to reapply with a specific uh, recommendation letter. But this recommendation letter uh, need to specifically mention why uh, you are the person to uh, perform that specific task. Do not please upload a general recommendation. And of course, we will need a one sentence uh, speech, uh, pitch, an excellent one that explain um, your research, what you are doing, your clinical duties, uh, and so on. So how to apply? First of all, we need some information about yourself, uh, your academic career, your clinic and scientific path, your research, uh, and so on. We will need your most important publications because as we will see further, uh, some of the tasks require a minimum number of publications and we will need your CV. And another important point is that your CV should be only one page. Bigger CVs will result in a first rejection in your application. Uh, of course, we will give you the opportunity to resubmit another CV. So please try to um, uh, fill in the guidelines and in the first submission, apply, upload a CV with only one page. And within this CV, we ask you to include some information regarding your publications. As you can see here, uh, you will uh, need to uh, mention the total manuscripts that you published, the number of citations, your age index, and then the accumulated impact factor of your publications, the number of manuscripts in first decil, first quartile, the number of manuscripts as first or last author, and also as a corresponding author. And this is because in to each task, sometimes we need some information regarding the number of your publications. So this will make our tasks easy to uh, specifically allocate you to each one of the specific tasks. Then we will need uh, your research focus in one sentence, the one sentence speech that need to precisely uh, explain your research focus. And in this case, please be imaginative and precise. One sentence that explain all your research. You need to select also the tasks you would like to participate in, the recommendation letter that I already mentioned that needs to be task specific, or I mean uh, explaining the tasks you want to apply and why you are the excellent candidate to perform the tasks. And in the case you have an English language qualification certificate, you can also upload it. It's not mandatory, but if you have it, just upload it also. So the tasks uh, for people who have done research already and want more exposure within UAG, you can uh, select to be a case presenter, a junior co-chair, you can review abstracts, and you can also be a speaker, a presenter, or a senior chair. 
For people who want to share their knowledge and experience with the GI community, you can be a blog author, an author, presenter, and moderator of online learning activities. You can be a mentor or a fellowship host, and you can be a speaker, a presenter, and a senior chair at classroom courses. In the case you want to donate your time for a good cause and support the GI community, you can be a community building, you can apply for the guidelines collaborator, you can be a case presenter, or you can be a volunteer and an independent member of UEG. So this is, these are, this is the list of tasks that you might apply to. As you can see here, within each task, you have several projects or programs that you will uh, might be asked to uh, perform. And here you have the requirements. So you can see there are several requirements to each one of the tasks. And I'm pretty sure that if you uh, carefully read it, you will for sure fulfill the, the requirements for at least one or two tasks. So please just check all the criteria. And I'm pretty sure that you will be able to apply because we have space for everyone and we are really happy to uh, receive your application. So as a take home message, please apply apply and apply don't be shy because here in the talent pool we don't have any gender or age limit we are very happy to receive everyone one important thing is that applying uh, to the talent pool this time is not a guarantee that you will be offered a task right now this moment so please be patient probably this year we were not able to include you in a specific task but maybe next year your time will come or in two years we are constantly uh, looking for people in our database. So if you are in the talent pool, your time will come and we for sure select you for a specific task. So uh, don't be sad if you are not selecting right now to a specific task. Because we take a lot of time to review all of your, applica of your applications. We are aware of the people that are in the talent pool. And when you submit your application, we will give you an individual feedback on our application. And for instance, in the case you are rejected in your application, we will explain you why, and we will give you the opportunity to resubmit your application. For instance, if you submit a larger CV than one page or a recommendation letter that is not specific, we will tell you and we will give you the opportunity to submit it again. An important point is that you should upload your talent, update your talent pool profile on a regular basis. You can go to the My UAG, uh, your My UAG profile, and please update your talent pool profile. Uh, you can update the, num the number of publications that you have, your new skills, your new courses, because this will increase your chances to be selected for your tasks. So apply, uh, don't be shy, and we want you to be involved in UEG. UEG needs you, and we think that you and UEG can grow together. So just dive with us into the talent pool. We are very uh, happy to receive you. If you have any other question, here is my, my email. You can contact me. You can contact also Henriette, which is the chair of the, talent, the Young Talent Group. You can contact any other member of the Young Talent Group. And of course, Julia Casper, which is a member of the UAG. So thank you very much. Thank you, Pedro, for um, making that incredible Baywatch picture and this presentation. So now, we, we're going to do a little bit of, of Baywatch and um, talent pool. Um, I'm going to refer all my next questions to David Hasselhoff. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm um, here. <laughs> so, uh, Pedro, um, I think what is what became very clear to me during the presentation, and I think it's very clear to everyone who's ever reviewed talent pool applications, that it's absolutely mandatory that your CV is just one page. Is it true? Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, it's basically it's uh, when you see some, some applications where people submit a CV with 15 pages, you have <laughs> sometimes 15, 50 applications to review. And if you got a CV with 15 pages, there's a lot of information and you cannot go directly to the important points. It's why we ask you a, a one page CV, enough for you to summarize the most important that we need. So please stick to the rules and up upload a one page CV because it will be a much more easy task for us when we have vacations. 
And when we are uh, asking a one page CV and we see a CV with 15 pages, get a little bit angry. <laughs> so you don't want us to be a little bit of that. So please apply, upload the one. <laughs> So, and what I would also recommend, this is when I review talent pool applications or when I refer them to someone else to be um, reviewed, um, I always love a good pitch. If I yeah. can see from the pitch that a person has really got a clear cut idea, what they want to achieve clinically or in science or what they are about, um, then I know where, where I can see them, whether I can see them as a speaker, whether I can see them um, as a blog author. So use the possibility to present yourself in a very short pitch, um, give a short CV. Um, it is allowed to um, present yourself from your best side. Absolutely. You can also brag a little bit. That's completely fine. Um, but it needs to be short and sweet um, because lots of people apply to the talent pool. And if you don't get a task the first time, you might get a task for the second time. Um, and, and David Hasselhoff, there's another question from the blog. Um, is there okay. any requirement of who needs to write the recommendation letter for talent pool? Does it need to be David Hasselhoff? No, it doesn't need to be. No, most of the times will not be David Hasselhoff. Um, if it's someone that uh, is related to UEG, it will be easier for us. If we see a, a net we are used to in UAG, we know that the recommendation let, or I mean, know the the, val, the validity and the potential of the candidate. So in the case of, uh, a recommendation letter for, for example, the president of the your country gastroenterology society, it will be amazing. But if you don't have it, no worries. But if it's someone related to UAG in the gastroenterology field, it will be easier for us than to select you to the talent pool. Because but if you have any question, you can ask us. You can ask us if this specific person is uh, eligible to write a recommendation letter, and we will answer in a few days or a few hours. No, so when you have any doubt, as Pilar said, ask us and don't be afraid of applying if you have any doubt. And we might also approach you um, to apply to the talent pool. Um, because if we see someone giving an excellent presentation or chairing a session or writing an excellent blog post, we just might come up to you and say, well, um, I, I can write you a recommendation for that task. Um, please refer to me. Yes, definitely. Um, and I think um, that is also a good way to, to come into the talent pool. Um, does anyone else have anything to add on the talent pool? Um, I, I can ask a very inflammatory question. Egle and Michael, are you in the talent pool? <laughs> yeah, not yet. Um, but yeah, I, you convinced me all that that also <laughs> take a message in every way you can to all the people who are watching us because yeah, as we said here all, even if it doesn't work for the first time, just try, try and try and it will, in, in the final round, it, yeah, it, it will work. You will get it. Yeah. Egla yeah. has stayed so on something I don't, I don't know if it's clear, but I would like to state it again. It's open all days, every year, 30, 65 days a year. So you can apply whenever you want. We will promote the talent pool for specific tasks sometimes when we need specific per people to do that. But the pool is open every day, every hour, so you can apply whenever you want. I think the, the, the message is that you just apply, try and contact people, um, be persistent. Um, and uh, UEG is uh, there to support you in your career to evolve and grow.